power, speed, strength, stamina, hard hitting, feared. All words that have been used to describe this man. Mike Grow, 20 and four as a professional, three and zero in his comeback. A lightweight to be reckoned with. A full arsenal of punches have been sending his opponents to the canvas in pain. If they get back up, they're on the run. March 22nd, 1986, Mike Grow dominates Abel Fuente. Grow drops his opponent to the canvas in the fourth round, a knockout for the natural. February 4th, 1987, Mike Grove dominates Leo Benitez. After feeling the sting of a few of his punches, Benitez is soon on the run. Grove catches up with him in the sixth round. A deadly right cross connects. Benitez doesn't get up. After a three-year layoff, Mike Grove returns to the ring. The comeback starts in Montana, where he goes four furious rounds with Gordon Hanna in the fifth, the natural wears down his opponent, connecting at will. Roman handles Hanna before his corner finally throws in the towel. A fifth round TKO as Mike Groh starts his comeback off with a win. March 15, 1990, Mike Groh brings professional boxing to Lewiston, Idaho for the first time in 30 years. His opponent, Mexican brawler Manuel Arce. There goes that southpaw stance. Now here comes the right hand. There it is. There it is. Get that straight right, Mike. If I were RC, I'd get tired of eating those right hands. I don't know what RC uh, thinks he's going to come back with. It isn't confusing, Mike. It isn't busting up his game plan. But uh, nice, nice return. Nice return. If he hits Mike, 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 Right. And you notice R.C.'s face is getting a little puffy now because uh, he's beginning to show the effect of all those punches he's taking. There's another hard left hook and uh, another right hand un under underneath there. You can see a mouse uh, just under Arce's left eye there. That's from that right cross. With two victories under his belt, the natural is ready for a shot at the Northwest title, a title his father held some 30 years ago. Standing in his way, a flashy, fast talk and lightweight with punching power to back up his words. Las Vegas is Dana Rostin. Rostin coming right after Gro. There's that one punch he talked about. Those combinations getting in. Grow just hit a vicious body he's shot. He's scoring at will. He's trying to knock him out. Rostin's in some serious trouble. This could be it. Mike Grow feels the enthusiasm. He's got a cut above his eye. He's in some serious trouble. Dana Rostin does not want to fight right now. Rostin's looking for help from the referee, but nothing hurt him but a punch. We talked about Clark Kent and Superman. Right now, you're looking at Superman. That's Mike right. Rowe is intense, he's focused, and he's ready for the kill. And he's going right for the eye, too. The result? A unanimous decision for Mike Rowe in the Pacific Northwest belt. He's worked with the best. World champions Meldrick Taylor, Rocky Lockridge, Pernell Whitaker, and Livingston Bramble, just to name a few. Now, the natural is working for his own world title.